is a fail video of a rhinestone glass. If you'd like to see what glue I use and why it's a fail, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I am going to be making a little um, glass for my niece. This came from the Dollar Tree and it's a stemless wine glass, but I love these glasses to drink my uh, grape juice out of. I don't, I don't drink, but I love grape juice. Oh, it's so good. So I like to make these glasses for people um, adults and children. It was her 10th birthday and I was supposed to make her a bigger cup. I can do that later. But this is going to be something quick I can get straight to the point with. So I have these rhinestones here. I'll be using a wax, a wax pickup tool, liquid fusion glue. I may use a little bit of this Maxi Cure Bob Smith just to see if it'll uh, lock in really quickly. Hopefully it won't make anything cloudy. And I cut out her name, which is Elena, and the LV logo. I was trying to find pink. I couldn't even find my um, pink vinyl. So hopefully this light blue color should be cool. And the rhinestones I'm using are like holographic. So they have like a purple and blue look to them. So I think this is going to be really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I've already wiped the glass off with some alcohol and I'm just adding on the decal that I cut out with my Silhouette Cameo. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull that off and this is going to be my, my template, I guess, that I'm going to trace with the glue. And I decided to just use the Maxi Cure glue only because it cures so quickly and I was in a hurry trying to get to um, the gathering that I was going to. Now, everything started out just fine, but at some point, I think what went wrong was I may have used a little bit too much glue. And so far, nothing is cloudy. I don't see anything becoming cloudy. I hope it doesn't. I tried that other glue in my other video called um, Glue Masters on the phone case. And I was like, just very disappointed and uh, just go a little bit by little bit because this does cure and once it uh, cures and locks in if you made a mistake or something you cannot move it so I'm just trying to move a little quick here and I have this fan going so I really don't want it to lock up too quickly but um, so far so good At least that's what I thought it was so far so good, but it actually was not. Like as you can see right now, everything still looks good. The rhinestones are nice and shiny, but as it began to dry, it just got more and more cloudy, more and more cloudy. And I tried to wipe it off with alcohol and everything I tried to possibly do just did not work. So if you're gonna use a glue like this, you have to use like little dots of it little bitty dots so I think what happened is a little bit of the glue got on the sides of the rhinestones and as it dried it just became the cloudiest thing I've ever seen in my life it was awful I'm almost finished and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay you guys here is the final finished result this is what I was trying to explain to you and as you can see between like each rhinestone there is so much cloudiness there that it just didn't make any sense at all. The back is fine. I had a hard time focusing on this part for some reason, but the back is fine. I actually would have been better off if I would have left the rhinestones off the glass altogether and just only did the vinyl, which would have been really nice. But yeah, back to this glass. There's so much cloudiness. That's why I said that you have to just use little dots in between. Honestly, I didn't even feel like I was using that much glue. But you just have to work a little differently when you're using this type of glue. So I still personally don't think I would use this glue on a glass again. I stick to just using this glue on 
um, like the Crocs or the garden slides. This glue is phenomenal for that. But even still, if you use too much, it'll cloud your shoes out too. But I haven't really had that problem. I just try to use little bitty dots of it. It works very well with fabric when I glue fabric onto Crocs. So I really do like this glue. This was the only time I had an issue or disappointment with this glue. And this is the first time I had an issue or disappointment doing a glass with rhinestones. So I hope this video, even though it was a huge fail, I hope it still gave you some insight and information on what type of glues to use. And just to throw it out there, um, the glues that I like to use, uh, E6000 works very well on glasses. Also, if you want something with no smell and it's um, non-toxic, another great glue for glass is Liquid Fusion. Another good glass glue would be Crystal Glaze. It has a slight smell, but it's non-toxic. Another one is One Dot, Not A Lot. It has a very, very, very light, light smell, light to no smell, and that's non-toxic as well. So there are other glues. I just used this one because I was being in a hurry and I figured because it sets and cures so quickly that it was a good option, but no, it was not a good option. But thanks you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. Um, thanks again you guys, bye bye. Check out our website myworldradiance.com and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms as well as iron-on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers. Now, this was a gift for my niece, my 10-year-old niece. I ended up giving it to her and apologizing and telling her that I'd remake it for her, but she still liked it anyway but I still have to go ahead and remake it, but she liked it anyway.